ladies, I am Tanya Cortez and welcome to the Foundation Channel. On this channel, I talk about everything foundation and complexion for more mature skin. So, so you guys know what this is. This is a base basket uh, rotation. I don't know what you want to call it. Shop mustache, base basket kind of thing. Um, some of you guys say, you know, you really like this video, this kind of video. So it's fine. I don't mind because I have to do it anyway. So I might as well go ahead and record it. But, um, but I am ready to exchange out some of these products. I do get a little bored and I did add a couple things, but not major things just little small things like a primer or so so if you see anything on here that you didn't see in the basket two weeks ago or whatever then that's why so i'm ready to uh change this baby out so just as a recap in case you guys forgot about the previous basket these things in here i keep in here these are just mascaras some pencils those kind of things um and they just kind of stay in here, these things. They just stay, nothing real major and important to see, but those are just a couple of liners. Now these these liners, like this Juvia's Place liner, um, I probably, you know, sometimes I just take in and out of liners that I need to, so because I keep all my liners in here, so I just kind of pull as I need to. And that's right here underneath. There's a little shelf underneath this vanity here. And I'm just able to slide it under. So I just keep it there. Um, but that's what those are. So the primers that I pulled, um, I'm not even sure which ones I added or if I took any away. But I'll show you the ones that I've been dealing with this these last couple of weeks. So the one size um, primer, you guys know I like this. So um, if I could keep this in here, but actually, and it's starting to actually, it's all actually almost gone. It's actually almost gone. So I'm going to just keep it in here like literally. I don't know if anybody has this primer, but you tell me, is it kind of hard to push, like to get this stuff out? Like it just seems like it's really hard to push. Or I don't know if it's just me or whether that's everybody. But I'm going to just keep this in because it actually, say it's really much of nothing left in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this in here. And the Mary Kay, I still been working on this. And so it's still just a little, so I'm gonna keep that in there as well. And um, the next primer I had was the um, CoverGirl Simply Ages primer. It was nothing fancy about this primer. It was really, really basic. Um, I mean, it, I didn't see anything special about it. No different than any other primer. Like it didn't knock me off my feet in any kind of way. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put this back. I was ready to change this anyway. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't even wear it a whole lot. I only wore it a couple days because it was just not, you know, knocking my socks off or anything like this. And so this, guys, I finally got a real... I use this literally every single day um, these last two weeks, every single day. As you can see, this dirty wand. I don't see any difference in this. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't really don't see what the big deal is. It feels like, it actually just feels like a, a primer. Like it doesn't feel any special than any other primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and recycle this and put this back and this um the tatcha primer i didn't get a chance to use that um so i'm gonna keep this in because i didn't get a chance to use it um now for the foundations guys i so love this foundation i love this foundation and i wore this so much actually that i mean i still have a nice amount in there but i just love this like i could keep, i could just keep this out forever it is actually very nice on the skin it just looks very natural and you know it has like a satin but radiance but doesn't look greasy i don't know how to explain it if you guys don't have it um definitely try it this is very very beautiful very beautiful and um i used this foundation this CoverGirl Clean Fresh. This is an actual 
perfect dupe for that Sephora foundation that I love so much. Um, it, it really is nice. I had a good time wearing this. It was super easy to wear. So, like, if I just wanted to, like, there was one day I just kind of put it on my hands and just rubbed it all over my face like lotion. <laughs> and it did exactly what I wanted it to do. And it just kind of really evened it out really nice. And it just wears really nice. So, you guys should try this. Um, don't remember, um how much this costs but this is in the shade 620 deep and this one is in the shade uh five in okay but i wear the other dior in 4.5 in but this still does work um but i think when this is gone i am going to get a different one um and the charlotte tilbury air blush airbrush flawless foundation i did not wear this um and i am going to put it back this is more along the full coverage line and i didn't have a really a reason to wear this so i kind of just i just didn't i didn't wear it so i am going to rotate it back out because i i know i'm not going to need it for these next two weeks um and this foundation right here guys this is pretty i like this a lot um it wore nice. It is hydrating and it will get hydrating on you if you use the wrong moisturizer or the wrong SPF underneath. Um, you just got to be careful how much, you know, uh, moisturizing products you put underneath this before wearing it because it's already a hydrating um, foundation. It has hyaluronic acid and it is long wearing. I will say that, but it is a really pretty one. Um, it's drugstore. It's by Catrice. I think you guys would um, really enjoy this. So why don't you try it? This is in, I have it in 080 Neutral Pecan. And I enjoyed this a lot, actually. And actually, a couple of days during this base box, I had to clean, uh, wash my face and reapply makeup for different occasions or whatever. So I was able to really, I like this. So I ended up using this two times in one day. Like I washed my face because I had somewhere to go. So I washed my face and then put, a, you know, reapply this one because it was so nice. I do like that a lot. And for the um, setting spray, I used this and this is a new purchase. Now, um, this sprays very wet. So no matter how far away I put my arm, just when I put this on, it's just, it's like a harsh spray and it sprays like a lot at one time. So it ends up being very, very wet. Um, I mean, it, it works very well, but that's the only downside I have of it, you know, about it. It does uh, have, it just a lot comes out at once. It does make it really, really wet. And then it takes a little while to really dry down. But I mean, but it makes it last. It does what a setting spray does. Um, it did work really well though. It worked better than some of the ones that I already do have. And I also used this. And I enjoyed this too. I, it didn't knock me off my feet, but it was nice. Um, I used it as a primer one day, and then I used it as a setting spray another day, and I just don't like it as a setting spray. Not at all. I felt like it messed my makeup <laughs> <laughs> I felt like it took all that time to put my makeup on and I had a I felt like it messed my makeup, you know, up. I don't know if that was so much the case, but if you see it has some color to it. I didn't like it, like I said, as a setting spray. I felt like it messed up my, <laughs> my makeup. But I think it worked very well as a primer. I enjoyed it as a, a primer. Now, if you don't like scents, you're not gonna like this. This really does have a strong smell. It smells like all the Dior other, you know, other Dior products, but this one seems to be a little bit more strong. Even this one has, you know, a strong smell, but this one just seems like, it just seems like a, like perfume kind of thing. So, but this did work very, very, very well. So I did like this a lot. And I use, this is just my regular color corrector in here. But um, I did use this, um, the minted, uh, what was this called? Peach for the Stars. I did use this. And I used it with, with this. Um, this is the LYS 
blush it's a cream blush and this is what this looks like and you know what I don't know that that I like this by itself I had this on in another video and it just looks very like I don't know I just don't think that I like the way this looks alone I mean it's pretty but I think I might be you know too deep or something to possibly wear this I don't know it's really pretty but I just don't know if I like it on its own um, as a blush so I did wear this peach blossom I wore this with this and I wore this peach for the stars with that as well so those are the ones I have I told you guys that I was leaving this um, this bye bye pores press powder in because this is turning into a holy grail for me. This is translucent tan, rich, and I use this as a pressed powder. And this is what this looks like again. But um, I so love this. This is just the best. And I had, um, I pulled this Charlotte Tilbury in here as well. And this is in the shade um, three tan. And you guys saw what that looked like. And that's that. And now, so let me tell you about this little bronzer here. So I use this every day of the two weeks. I use this shade right here. And it is very, very, very pretty. It's very pretty, very bronzy. Um, it did a really, really good job. You just have to really be careful in how much you use because it is heavily pigmented. Um, but it, it really is pretty. I really like this. Um, it is a little bit more chalky than some of the bronzers that I'm used to, but it still was a good um, bronzer, and it still did what it was supposed to do. It just was a little bit, like, minted is a little bit more creamy, I want to say, for lack of better words, than this. This was a little bit more chalky. And then, so these are the lips that I use, and I wore the same lips the whole two weeks. I'm just turning into my one of my favorite lip glosses ever, and that's this one. It is that Sephora, the lip gloss I got during the, the Sephora sale. It's in number two, and it tingles, but it doesn't tingle bad, and I just really, really love this. I like this. I know that when this is gone, I'm definitely gonna get another one. And then, of course, I use the Fenty Gloss Balm, and this is Fenty Glow. And, and then I also used this Sephora lipstick. And this is in the color. This is in Rouge. Oh, wait, no. Um, it says Rouge. Yeah, Rouge. And this is the actual col color of the... Um, and this is what it looks like. But you definitely got to mix this with a lip gloss or I feel like it doesn't look that pretty. And that's this one. But it looks nice. It kind of actually looks mauve when you put it on, but it is technically like a brown or so. But that was good. Now I did have this um, Jacqueline Hill palette in here. I did use it one time, um, barely as you can see. I used like one of the colors. And of course, I keep my minted in here. And this is the one that I kept wearing. I don't, I'm such a scaredy cat when it comes to shadows. But um, this is what I normally wear. And this is the minted. And as you guys can see, this does get a lot of love from me. I wear this palette almost like every day. Um, and I did use, and then I did use um, the Wet n Wild color icon one I just didn't really play in that a whole lot and then this one right here is the um, this is the Sephora love one let me come back over here the Sephora love one and this one I wear a lot it's neutral I like a whole bunch of neutral stuff I'm a little on the you know kind of I guess boring side but this, um, the True Match, I did use this. Um, of course, I've had this many times, 
over and over. So I've had, you know, been able to wear this. I don't know. This might even be my, everybody has True Match. <laughs> That's all I feel about this powder. Everybody has it. I've been through a million of these since, you know, I started wearing makeup. So that's nothing, um, you know, special. And this right here, you know, it's okay. I felt like it gave me, um, I don't know whether it's just that I use too much, which I try not to use a lot of powder under my eyes, but this gave me flashback in some pictures that I took. And I don't know, it was just too bright. And I don't like to be that bright under my eyes. Um, not too, too bright. And this was really, really bright. And this right here, the uh, Maybelline Fit Me. Um, I didn't wear it, as you can see. <laughs> I didn't wear it because I was wearing all the other powders. I was gonna, you know, I was wearing all the other powders, so I didn't really wear this. So um, I'm gonna put that back because I'm not ready to wear that yet. And I'm gonna put all these powders back. The only thing I'm gonna keep out is these eyeshadow palettes. I'm still gonna keep them. Um, if you guys wanna see these, this one, this is a really, really cool one. It's really natural and neutral. This color though, I think is so ugly. I'm, <laughs> maybe because I don't know how to really use that color maybe, but I think this is the ugliest color. I don't know, it kinda has like a, I don't know, like a poo-poo green to it or something, a poo-poo brown, I don't know. But um, I'ma keep this in because I do like the other colors though. So I'm gonna keep all the eye stuff in. Um, and also my concealers. Now this Givenchy, this is the first time I used this one. This was new. I like this concealer. I do. I really like it. I like the way it felt under my eyes. I like the, you know, how much brightness it gave. Um, it did, it's just, it looked really nice. This is a little cool though, this color. It looks like it has, you know, little peaches tone to it, which is kind of cool, you know, because it does help with a little bit of darkness if you have that under your eyes, but it, it's not thick at all. It, uh, it just, it was really nice. I enjoyed it a lot. So I know that I'll wear this again, like really soon because I, I enjoyed it. And this, of course, I just love anyway, this infallible, um, concealer I can just leave this in there forever but I'm not <laughs> but yeah this is nice and creamy and you know of course you got room for error with this but it's so creamy it's so nice I just love it it's so full coverage it just you know with this you only need a little teeny weeny bit so you just have to be careful with this but this is what I had last week and so now let's just go ahead and pull out some new stuff. I'm gonna keep it light this week only because I'm not doing anything that's gonna require like a full, serious, full face of makeup. So I'm gonna kind of keep it real simple and sweet and to the point. Now I did wanna start using this again, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna, um, not use that this time but i do know that i want to i think i'm gonna keep them light this week so i think i'm gonna pull this i think i'm gonna pull the estee lauder um and i think i'm going to use this lisa elders listen i love this foundation so i definitely am going to use this again like now <laughs> I couldn't wait to use it again. So I'm going to use that. And that's it out of that drawer. I kind of have an idea already what I want to grab out of here. And that is the Lawless. I want to grab out of here. And... Um, um, I think I'm going to take um, the NARS tinted moisturizer this time this is in the color uh, medium deep mark uh markash markish whatever <laughs> this is in that and the actual estee lauder double wear um sheer foundation makeup this is in the color five and two amber honey 
and the lawless which is like so cool i love this and then the um the lisa eldridge is in the shade 26 and i love that shade all right so that's it for foundations i don't need anything heavier than these if i need something heavier i will go ahead and pull something at that time but as of right now i don't think that i need anything heavier right now because these foundations are light i can pull a powder that has a little bit more coverage um to it so i think i want to try something i think i want to try something new this is laguna bronzer i keep saying that i want to try this but um i don't know that this is going to show up on me actually so mm, that's just a bronzer so let's see um this um cover girl powder i might try this might use this this is light i could use this for a highlighting powder so i think i'm going to use this and i think i'm going to use the um the closest and you know what no no i think i'm gonna use this um dior powder no powder because I like this a lot. I'm going to go ahead and use that. I use it often anyway, but I'm going to go ahead and use that. All right, I think I'm good on powders. I had to buy my pores powder up there if I need a little bit more something. Um, so for bronzers, I'm just going to go ahead and take my, um, my old faithful. You know what? No, guys. Look, I want to use this. I want to use this Bobbi Brown powder. All right, I'm going to try this. And I'm going to use my, um, you know, I, I tried this, but this leans a little red. So I don't know if I want to try the Kevin Aquan right now. But this Mahogany Bronzer Man, I'm going to leave that alone right now because that'll be... That'll be gone, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull my um, my vacay from Minted. This is my old trusty lover to death concealers. I want to try a new one. I have several new ones. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. This is the Giorgio Armani. Um, and number 10, I'm going to try this. I'm going to pull my Merit out this time. Again. <laughs> I love that um, concealer. And... I think I want to try this and see what this is like. But I'm still going to pull another one. I still want to pull those two just in case. But this one. I'm going to try that. And I need one more. And I'm going to pull this one right here. This Makeup Forever Velvet Skin. No. You know what I want? I want... I'm going to pull this one. And try this hourglass one. I'm going to use this one. You know what? I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this Kosas. Um, pull this for sure. And I think I'm going to try this LYS again and see what this is like. The last time I tried this, it made my foundation move around. I don't know. I just didn't care for it under that particular foundation. So I'm still I'm gonna try it again and see. But I also keep my milk makeup 
primer out there just in case. But you know what? No, I'm not gonna pull that one. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna pull this one because that one is a little bit more radiant. I'm gonna pull this one because the other one is a little bit more radiant. And Jackie, if you see this video, this is the one. I think you may have gotten the wrong one. I'm not sure. But this one is the, um, this is the mattifying one. I think that you got a radiant one and this is the mattifying one right here. So I'm not sure you, you could have got the right one, but I don't know why I felt like when I saw your video, it could have been the wrong one, but if I'm wrong, <laughs> I might be. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pull those two. I'm gonna just go ahead and pull Old Faithful, my poor professional blush. Try this one. No. Now I'm gonna hold my Snap Dragon. And I like this one. And this one. New palettes. Shanai. Maybe I'll add this one. Everyone knows what this Huda Brown palette looks like. I'll add it. I think I'm going to try use this again. This poor professional. This is the poor professional. I'm gonna try this one this time. And let's see. And I'll take this one out. Now you know what I had this but I don't think I like this very much. You know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Let me use this, the Sephora Beauty Amplifier. Because all those foundations that I have are pretty radiant or hydrating. So just to be on the safe side, I wanna have something a little more a little bit more mattifying. So I'll keep these out just in case, depending on what the look will be for the day. So let's get the fill in this basket. 